Hi friends, today I am going to talk about referrals and referral programs. If you are new here, thanks for joining in. I would love if you hit the subscribe button down below and to join my sweet little community here. Let's get into talking about the difference between just referrals and referral programs, the pros and cons, and all of that good stuff. So let's go. You do things to me that I just can't describe. The way you say my name just makes me my very first video on YouTube was about referrals, which is so interesting because it seems so long ago, but I will link that up above and also put a link in the description in case you don't see that. I think sometimes on the phone, it doesn't always show it. But anyway, if you want to see the very first video I ever made and where I talk about referrals there, you can watch that one as well. The biggest difference between just generally getting referrals and then having a referral program is that with a referral program you're actually giving incentive for people to refer you or book you through a referral program first let's talk about just basic referrals in my first video i talk about the power of referrals and how i do get a lot of my business this way just because I mention it a lot, I ask my clients for referrals. I don't just rely on the fact that I think they will refer me. And this works for any genre of photography. So I use it mostly for weddings and boudoir. You can use it if you're a senior photographer, or you're a commercial photographer, any, any type of photography, this works for that. So basically what you want to do is start planting that seed in people's heads when they first contact you, ask them how they heard about you. So, and if they did hear about you via referral, then say, great, this is how I get most of my business. And if they don't hear about you that way, then you can still slip that in the conversation just when you reply back. You can say, oh, it's great that you heard about me through Facebook or Instagram or Google or ever how they heard about you. Then you can also say, it's nice to hear this because normally I get most of my business by referral. And even if this isn't true to start with, the more you say it and the more you put it out there, the truer it will become. So don't worry about that right now because you really have to put it out in the universe for to make it happen. With that said, something else that you want to do is throughout your communication with your client, putting that out there to them every time. Like, And don't be afraid to ask them specifically specifically <laughs> for referrals because if you don't ask you never know if they're actually going to do it like a lot of us just assume like they love their photos they are so beautiful they're gonna refer me and that's not true they might think oh they're busy enough or oh they don't need my referral or they may feel shy about it. So just letting them know like, hey, I get most of my business by referral. I would love if you refer me. Then they're more apt to do it and they're more apt to think about you if they see somebody ask about a boudoir photographer, a wedding photographer, a senior photographer, you know, whatever the genre is. So you definitely want to make sure that you always mention that you get referrals from past clients and that you love getting referrals. Something else that I do is when I send the client their final product and I do ship the final product to my clients most of the time, unless they're local, but I do shoot a lot of non-local clients. So I end up sending them their product. Anyway, when I send that to them, I will put a handwritten note in their package and I include just that I loved working with them and if they have any friends, I would love if they refer me. So let's go on to referral programs because I want to talk about what else I put in that package when I send them their album or their products. So I also include a referral card and I will post that on the screen so you can see what it looks like. And I do have two different cards that I send. If I have a bride and I know she may have other friends that are getting married, then I will send a broad card. And if it's just a regular client, then I just send my standard referral card. So basically it's a five by five printed card and on the front, it just has a beautiful photo with my um, information and then on the back, I just talk a little bit about what I have to offer, but the, the key to it actually is 
it says who were you referred by and you will receive a hundred dollars off your session the reason why i do this is because it gives the client that's receiving the card incentive to book with me and then the client that gives a card i let them know that when they gift the card to somebody that they will receive a hundred dollar gift card from me and sometimes it's just Venmo where I just send them Venmo and you can do this so many different ways you don't have to do cash back you don't have to have a cash incentive or a discount or anything like that you could also do a Starbucks gift card you could do more products for your company so say you have a past client that they booked a session and they didn't get all of their pictures and they may want more photos then you can offer them a incentive to get more photos by saying hey if you refer me and someone books me then i'll give you x amount of photos that you can just have like digital files or maybe even before they get their book you can say if you refer me and somebody books me then i'll give you five extra photos in your album so you can do it so many different ways do the way that's going to work the best for you some other ideas are telling them that you will enter them in a contest if they refer you at like X amount of times and then you can pick a winner each month or each quarter and then people can try to refer you a lot to be able to win something like and that could be anything. It could be a free session. It could be a discount off a session. It could be a Kate Spade purse. It could be anything you want it to be. So you can decide like what it is that you want to give away as your prize and the cool thing about this is it doesn't even have to be a past client that you can get involved with this type of contest you can post it on facebook you can post it on instagram you can post it on TikTok, you can post it anywhere and just ask people if they want to join in this contest and all they have to do is refer you you can either do it where they refer you a lot like they have to have a lot of people contact you or you can say the person that they refer actually has to book you before you put them in the pot to win so you can do it a lot of different ways so just play around with it see what's going to work the best for you the second thing that i do with these cards is that i send them to my clients well that's the first thing that i do i send them to my clients with their product so that goes in there with a note and I explain how it works and everything and then I also send these to um, different businesses so I will share them with bridal boutiques so I send my bride cards to bridal boutiques or anybody in the wedding business and then my standard cards I share with bridal salons yoga studios and if you don't know any vendors so say I'm in the wedding industry as well so i'm able to network and give these referral cards to wedding vendors that i know if you're not in this position or it, say you're not even in the wedding industry or you're um, not wanting to market to brides or you're not doing boudoir you want to market to seniors figure out where your target clients will be and who they work with and then those are the businesses that you want to target and those are who you want to give your referral cards to say there's a local shop that all the kids go to and you target seniors then you can go to the shop and ask them if they would hand out your referral cards and the cool thing about that is no matter what it is you can figure out what incentive you want to give that shop you can say hey for every client that books me I will give them a gift card back to your shop for $50 or $10 or whatever it is that you want it to be with these shops that you're giving your referral cards to something about that is you really need to make a relationship with them because if you just go and drop your cards off and then never talk to them again more than likely you're not going to get any referrals from there but if you can check back in with them like once a week or like once a month to start out with this is going to be so helpful just to build a relationship even like take them some coffee and donuts one day or some muffins or something just to kind of pop in and be like hey i'm just checking in because the more of a relationship that you have with them, the more they're going to want to refer you, even if they're getting some kind of incentive. Like, so say if they have, um, there's like sales clerks that you might be giving them some kind of kickback. 
but you don't really know them, then they may not even feel inclined to refer you. So if you can somehow get to know them a little bit, even if it's just dropping in a couple times to meet them, you're gonna do way better than if you just drop your cards off for them to hand out. Let's talk about the pros and cons of having a referral program. Pro would be that you get more referrals, right? So that's a good pro. However, the con to that could be that you do all this work to make your referral cards, you give them out to everybody, you send them to your clients, you go and put them in businesses, and then you don't get any referrals. This is why I do say that you should have some kind of relationship with the people that you give your referral cards to because it will get you a better return on your investment because these cards also aren't that cheap especially if you want to make really nice ones and you want to make a lot of them to hand out because you don't want to just give you know 20 to a business you want to give hundreds to a business because they have hundreds of customers coming in on a monthly basis so you need to give them a lot so they can put them in every bag or they can give them to everybody that makes a purchase so it just depends on what kind of shop you're giving it to as well to how many you would give them but you do want to give them a lot so just keep that in mind that it is an investment and that would be kind of a pro and a con i guess because it's a pro if you get business from it but then it's a con because it is an investment another con could be that some people would be you know um i want to refer you on merit and i don't want to be bribed <laughs> However, I don't really feel like it's that much of a bribery. Like you're, you're giving them something back for basically your marketing because if you're paying for this and you're not paying into another type of marketing. So I used to advertise a lot in magazines and now magazines really aren't that big of a thing anymore. It's hard to find them. You just don't see them as, I mean, there's still magazines around, but it's just not, not like it used to be. Like I used to be able to advertise in magazines and I would get a lot of business. And now it just doesn't work that way anymore. So I took that money that I was putting into magazine marketing and put it into my referral marketing campaign. Basically, you just have to kind of weigh what will work the best for you and decide if, you know, doing a referral program would work or not. And just kind of weigh those pros and cons of if you feel like that it would be a good investment basically you need to decide if a referral program is something that would work for your business or not you can always do a test run maybe just with like one business or even just with your clients and where you give them referral cards and see how it works just test it out for a month see how it goes and then if it's working for you, then keep it up. And then you can double down and add more businesses or buy even more cards, give your clients more cards to give out, figure out other ways to use that. But I definitely believe that referrals are king and definitely you can get a lot of business by referrals. You just have to really work at it. And like I said in the beginning of the video, you definitely want to plant that seed and let people know that you get most of your business by referral because if you don't put it out there, it's not going to happen. So just go with it. You got this, <laughs> right? Anyway, I really appreciate you guys for being here and I hope that you'll follow me over on Instagram and I I'm trying to do more stories and fun stuff over there. So I hope to see you there. I hope you will hit the like button for me because it helps me with the algorithm and I really appreciate it when you hit that button down there. So anyway, I look forward to seeing you guys next Monday and leave any comments down below too. I always love hearing from you. So if you have any questions, if I left something out, just drop a comment below and I'm happy to answer them for you and I'll see you next Monday. Bye. Feel like a queen. <laughs> I just snorted. <laughs> or <clears throat> I keep messing up. Like the idea, I guess. The